Someone requested whether or not HE2 and HE2 2 plus exist based on molecular orbital theory. I can answer all three of these questions all at once by showing you how molecular orbitals work. To do molecular orbital theory, you need to think about the atomic orbitals that are overlapping to make the molecule. For di atoms, uh, like two HEs connected together, all you'll have to worry about are the straight up atomic orbitals. Now helium's easy because helium's electron configuration is 1s2 and that's it. So what that means is that you have a 1s atomic orbital for one of the heliums and a 1s atomic orbital for the other helium. There are two electrons in each of those, at least for HE2 there are. Now, when those two atomic orbitals overlap, it gives you two molecular orbitals. One is lower in energy. It, we're going to call it sigma 1s. And one is higher in energy, we're going to call it sigma 1s star. The star here represents an anti-bonding orbital, and no star represents a bonding orbital. The two atomic orbitals have overlapped to make these two molecular orbitals. Now, HE2 still has four electrons. So, one, two, three, four. I'm following the Aufbau principle and Hund's rule by filling from the bottom up in this molecular orbital diagram. I don't know which of these two electrons is these two and which of these two electrons is these two. What matters is that you have four electrons in the atomic orbitals to start with and four electrons in the molecular orbitals to end with. Same number, okay? Now, this is a molecular orbital diagram for HE2. The bond order is going to be, and always is, the number of electrons in bonding orbitals minus the number of electrons in anti-bonding orbitals divided by two. So for HE2, we have two electrons in bonding orbitals. This is the only bonding orbital we have and there are two electrons in it. There are two electrons in the anti-bonding orbitals and we divide that by two. Now I actually get zero divided by two, which is zero, which tells me that the bond order of HE2 is zero. That means there is zero covalent bonds between them. <laughs> that should be enough to emphasize that HE2 is not a stable atom or molecule, I should say. In fact, it's probably pretty obvious that if you ever actually made HE2, it would just break apart to give you two HEs, like the noble gases, that we know HE is, whatever. HE2 with a plus charge is the same thing, except one of these electrons has been removed. We're removing the electrons from the highest energy orbitals first. In any case, that gives us two electrons in bonding orbitals and one bonding in an, one electron in an anti-bonding orbital. Two minus one divided by two is a bond order of a half that's about a half covalent bond in between the two heliums, which is still not stable. By the time we get to HE2 2 plus, we're also removing this electron. That brings us down to zero electrons in the antibonding orbitals. Two minus zero over two gives us a whole one. And so in theory, according to molecular orbital theory, HE2 2 plus has a single covalent bond between them. This whole number represents a single bond and means that HE2 2 plus in theory, now again, molecular orbital theory, HE2 2 plus is a stable molecule, HE, HE, with a two plus charge and a single bond in between the two. Cool? Cool. Well, hey, that's how molecular orbital theory works for HE2. By the time you get up to the second energy level, I'm talking about N2, Br2, no, sorry, N2, O2, and F2, things get a little hairier. I have more videos about those that you can watch. HE is an easy case. Best of luck to you.